Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the Baldwin 4010-030. This is a typical floor stop. It's a typical floor dome stop. If you use your imagination, you can see why we would call it a dome stop. Okay. This is the higher of the two that are pretty typical and common. And this sort of design is certainly uh, classic uh, in the sense that it is effective, it is elegant, uh, it is simple and straightforward, therefore classic. It's also classic in the sense that it's been around for decades. And there have been lots of evolutions away from this model along with the shorter model um, that will give you, in some instances, the best of both worlds. Uh, generally, what would happen in the old days is a client would come in and say, they'd say, well, give me uh, 50 short ones and give me 30 tall ones and I'll just return the ones that I don't use. You know, there are wall stops now that people have that you don't really have to make that choice, and Baldwin is cer certainly one of them. But we'll go over that as well. The item itself, this is the 4010. It's a dome stop. It has some particular dimensional properties. And just holding it upside down, the base height they call, uh, they call it out as half of an inch. And it has an overall height of inch and three-eighths. It has a base diameter of inch and seven-eighths. Okay, now where are you going to use this? Well, certainly somewhere where you have at least 9 sixteenths undercut, and that's going to be suitable for lots of installations, although for others it would not be. If you have wood doors uh, on, you know, uh, tile uh, floors and you have hollow metal frames, those doors probably aren't going to be at a three-quarter inch undercut, although they could be. Um, you, might, uh, you might not be able to fit this in if you have a door that's, you know, 30... Uh, Let's say 83 and 5 eighths is your, you know, net height. Well, that's going to be a half inch undercut. Um, eight, I'm sorry, 83 and 5 eighths. I said no, that'd be a quarter inch undercut. That would be unusual. 83 and 3 eighths is what I meant to say. That'd be a half inch undercut. So be mindful. You know, if you, if you've got an 83 and a quarter, or 83 and an eighth, you know, that sort of net height on a seven foot door, this would be appropriate. If the door is longer than that, you're going to need the shorter version to be sure. So, this is the 030. That means um, three things from Baldwin. It's made of solid brass. It's in a polished brass finish, and it has a lacquer applied to it. Okay. Available in lots of different finishes. Um, you know, Baldwin, of course, produces dozens of different possible finishes. When it comes to a floor stop, you're not going to see the sort of variety that you would in lock sets. You know, you're probably not going to see a Venetian bronze in a, in a floor stop, although you might. There'll be variations of brass, bronze. Actually, you will get Venetian bronze in floor stops. Uh, your brass, your bronze, your chromes, your nickels, satin, polished, oil rubbed, obviously. The shorter version is the 4000 uh, that you might typically use. This includes, I, I think, probably every anchor that you could require. You're going to get a, to get it flipped around here machine screw and a double expansion anchor a wood screw well what would you what would probably be considered a sheet metal screw perhaps and then a plastic style anchor so regardless of the floor type you should have everything you need right here for that now let's switch to the screen view and take a look at this item and its supporting documentation okay so this is the item that we're looking at not a lot to see here except the description that we've gone over already. But really what's handy when it comes to Baldwin is to get to their catalog. The link here to the manufacturer's page, that's going to allow us to... Now that link to the manufacturer's page will allow us to pull up the Baldwin catalog. And I'm used to the binder that I used to have on my desk or my shelf, you know, in the, in the early 1990s. And unfortunately, that really awesome book is long gone. But we do have an older estate, estate book. Is it possible? And the version of the book that I like to use is the Baldwin Estate Specifications and Price List, 2012-2013. Um, so Baldwin has, over the course of their time, different series of locks. Their flagship is the Estate Series. That's the top of the line from Baldwin. I'm personally very familiar with, um, I wouldn't say all of the different designs because I'm not, that has evolved. What I'm very familiar with is the way that the locks work 
the way that the uh, hardware must be ordered. You have to specify a rose or a lever and a, pardon me, you have to specify a knob or a lever and a rose and a latch. Um, you have to be sure that you are getting all of the components necessary for that. A spindle, a strike, a dust box, things of that nature. But once you get used to it, um, which you'll only get used to it if you have a lot of, if you have a steady stream of estate work to do, you'll, you will get used to it. Um, anyway, so the point of the estate is in the estate section is where you're going to find their builder's hardware. If I do a find function on my keyboard, I ought to be able to find their floor stop, or maybe it's in a different book. Okay, um, so this estate book must be just purely their estate's hardware. Okay, so let's try maybe the 2016. Uh, yeah, the 2016 should work. The 2016 estate price book, price book 4010 is our part number. I just did a find function on the keyboard, and indeed, we found it. Here it is. This doesn't look all that different from the old Baldwin book that I was able to, you know, arm twist out of a sales rep that I used to work with. Okay, so the 4010 is here, and what you're going to be able to see here is their 4000, 4005, 4010. What changes? The lip thickness. 3 16ths, 3 8 half inch. These are your part numbers, the XXX simply means insert the finish for that. These list prices are well out of date by this time. Now this modern style or universal floor bumper that would work in lots of instances you know regardless if you had a quarter inch three eighths half inch um, undercut I wouldn't really want to use it on a three-quarter undercut because that's going to be right close but nonetheless it's there. This is called a gooseneck style. If you use your imagination, you can see why we call it that. That's nice because it's taller. It's going to move your point up a bit higher. Kick down door holders, baseboard style, different wall stops, etc. So if you are into the world of Baldwin hardware, if you like to use them as much as possible, here's your resource. These risers are really good under this material. If you are putting a stop over some sort of flooring condition, that will not allow you to secure right down to it, such as, of course, carpet. Okay, You need to build that off the floor. A riser would be required. Three different um, listings here for risers. I can't tell you why they have a 4209 and a 4210. I imagine the difference is going to be in the type of fastener that may be required for each of the two taller ones. Um, we could hop over to the Baldwin site, which I've done a little bit of research, and indeed the 4210 has... I'm not sure what the countersunk washers are for. I, I cannot imagine why you would use those. Um, but the point is the 4210 has machine screws. The 4209 has a sheet metal screw. So anchor type is how that's going to be different. Be mindful of that. If you, if you need a riser in the first place. okay. So very handy catalog. Both of them, in fact. But Baldwin will have, obviously, push plates, uh, other flat goods, a variety of other finish hardware. And generally, what we like to do is um, you'll get an order from a client for their passage privacy sets, the keyed locks, the front door lock. Um, and then you like to trim out the rest of the hardware in Baldwin because it's going to be of the same very high caliber fit and finish. So I would recommend that you uh, retain these links so that you can review 
uh, the hardware. This is a Dutch door quadrant. You don't see them often, but you do sell them occasionally. Obviously, a surface bolt. That's a Dutch. That's a strike for a Dutch door bolt. Doesn't have to be, but you could certainly use it in a Dutch door application. Door guards. Neither of these are fire rated. Um, nor handicap compliant. Uh, I don't think this one's handicap compliant. Neither are fire rated, though. That's for sure. Doorbell buttons, knockers, etc. Let's wrap up this video on camera. In conclusion, this is made of solid brass. It's cast. You can see down there, that's what that's what solid brass looks like. And we like to do, like I said just now, all of the other hardware in Baldwin because, you know, there are times, of course, when you're doing a project and you're doing a finish that's unique to Baldwin, which then you'd really want to use Baldwin for the rest of it if you could get, be sure to get the same finish in all of the rest of the hardware. And that's really a throwback to the way that hardware was sold 100 years ago. If you liked locks from Corbin, well, you could buy everything from Corbin, window hardware, hinges, things of that nature. Um, and they had a list of really unique finishes to just Corbin. Well, your problem would be is, well, I love Corbin hinges, but I want the Yale lock. Well, in 1920, they had their sheets of finishes, and they weren't going to match. There was no industry standard for that, uh, for that all to match. And Baldwin throws back to that sort of traditional way of doing it where you would select one manufacturer and get all your finishes. Um, that's probably why they supply all that builder's hardware. However, um, finishes are pretty pretty universal. 030 is going to equate to 605, so you'll be able to match that, um, you know, you'll be able to match it. You know, uh, polish, you know, 030 from Baldwin is a 605 hinge from someone else, but Baldwin makes hinges. And I'll tell you, I'm incredibly partial to Baldwin. Uh, admittedly, it's because I'm familiar with the product line, so I'm not intimidated by how detailed you have to be with every item. Um, and I'm a very, uh, uh, I'm, an, I, I'm an unabashed fan of their quality, their fit and finish. I choose to use Baldwin personally. Uh, their technical support is exceptional. In no way am I using that word in an exaggerated sense. Exceptional technical support people over there. I could, re I could re relate several instances. The one thing that I don't like from Baldwin are their hinges. And the reason I don't like them is their tips, their decorative tips are threaded on from the top and bottom. Many are. Over time, as you use the door, that threaded tip ends up coming out. So my suggestion is during the installation procedure, get thread lock material and coat those threads and get those decorative tips tightened down, even if it's a button tip. Because what will happen is the button tip, you know, I recall sitting at home and I heard a thud, a, 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 a clank or, you know, some sort of sound. I had no idea what it was. It sounded like a small rock may have hit the window, but not nearly hard enough to break it. I then later realized, oh, it was the decorative tip falling out of the hinge. So if you don't replace that, what happens is as the door opens and closes and opens and closes, it like extrudes the hinge pin up out of the uh, up out of the hinge knuckle assembly. So you'd go back and thread lock everything, and that would solve the problem. So I'd suggest you do that from day one, even with their button tips. Thread lock that material, tighten them down, and be done with it. Anyway, any questions on the Baldwin 4010 and an 030 finish or any other Baldwin product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you.